Hi guys, this is Andrew Zebron the third again. I'm back here with uh, something I found today on uh, Telegram, which is very interesting. And I also went and looked um, in the fake news and they're talking about it. So what I found was um, this Telegram channel called Aquila and um, <clears throat> they were announcing peace talks with between Russia and NATO and the Ukraine, the USA and Russia. Um, if you think the resident in chief Biden is behind this, turn off the fake news, tune in here. Aquila, breaking Russian foreign minister Sergei Lavrov has announced that talks for the second time on Ukraine between USA and Russia would take place on January 7th, 7th January, 2022. That's great news, guys. Right after Christmas, um, hearing that that uh, peace talks are going to break out on the 7th, um, Russian Christmas is on January 6th. So um, there's also going to be, there's more here. Breaking, the Russian government has also announced that it will hold high-level talks with NATO on January 12th and 13th, 2022. This is the first high-level talks in two and a half years. And there's a link to Akila's um, Telegram channel here. And I went on to talk about it. If you think the resident in chief is behind this, turn off the fake news. I just found this news piece. I just found this news of peace talks and the fake news doesn't like that. So you're probably not watching them. That's why I started podcasting, writing, and sharing news. Freedom of speech is number one. If that And if that fails, we all know what the second is. I've never advocated for that. Peace is the prize, friends. This has President Trump written all over it, not President Biden. We've been forced to read, the, read between the lines by the fake news for years. And big tech Twitter has forced President Trump to impersonate a Latino to be heard. There's a link for it right here, which is totally ridiculous. If you want to follow President Trump on Twitter, you have to follow him as a Latino. He's been forced to uh, impersonate someone else to appear on Twitter. It went way beyond ridiculous years ago. And uh, fake news is in trouble just because they can't cover him as like they used to. Um, Establishment media outlets crash without Donald Trump in the White House. No Donald Trump in the White House to drive the news cycle means establishment media outlets are being abandoned. 2021 year end figures released Monday reveal as multinational corporate control of America's news is rejected by the very audiences it seeks to engage. So people are abandoning fake news in droves. This is great news. And we all know what happened. And look, King James is even getting in the thing. This is all to wake people up, guys. So I want to keep this video short to be able to put it on TikTok. So for that, which does not kill me, should run. So thanks for tuning in, guys. All the links will be in the show notes. And um, I'll see you next time I get some news. Bye-bye.